Hi guys, and welcome to Fun With Balloons. Today, I'm gonna to show you three ways to size a balloon. Okay, so the first way is probably the most accurate, but it's also the most time consuming. That you'd take your pump, and you're gonna count how many pumps you do. So I always do this, that's one, two, three, and there's the balloon, okay? Then you take the next one. One. Okay, so this next way I'm gonna show you is probably the least accurate. It's just eyeballing it, and I wouldn't recommend it unless you were in a pinch. And you'd hold them up side by side until they looked about the same size. And the third way, I'm gonna show you how to make a balloon sizer out of a cardboard project mat. Uh, this is just something that I got at the store, and it was about a dollar. I think it was actually 88 cents. Um, and then I'm gonna cut holes in it and show you how to size, how to size balloons. I took my tape measure and a protractor and drew my circles on here. I don't know if you can see them on here. I drew them on there at different increments. And now I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and cut out all the circles. So make sure when you're using your X-Acto knife, you have a mat underneath so you don't cut whatever is underneath. I cut out all my holes. And I've got them all numbered with the size hole that they are. So the key is to blow it up past the size that you're going to want. And then as you stick it through, you let out the air, and then when it goes all the way through, it is fully sized to that size. So this is a seven inch balloon. And the cool thing about this balloon sizer is you can use it over and over and over again, and you don't have to remake the thing. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and blow up the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already and you'd like to get notified when I post new videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks, bye.